Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 The Adventures of Julius Nepos, who is now, of course, the Imperator Julius Augustus Biggest Dickus. And I gotta tell you, I just watched a guy replace his kitchen floor with like 27,000 pennies. And if that doesn't make you feel better about how shitty your empire looks, then nothing will. So my day's starting off pretty great. Um, you know his day's not gonna continue being pretty great, though. It's our boys over in the Byzantine Empire, because that's who we're gonna attack today. Uh, specifically this fellow who's in prison. I don't know who he is. Imperator Caesar Maximian II of the Eastern Roman Empire, the fake Roman Empire, of House Biggest Dickus. He's gonna be House Snow Dickus when I get my hands on him, because we are gonna castrate the little shit for daring to start a second House Biggest Dickus. In fact, that is probably our goal now, is to completely wipe out the imposter House Biggest Dickus. Don't know how they spawned. Don't know where they came from. Um, maybe it's something to do with the fact that I added the Patreon houses to the culture and accidentally added my own, which might have caused them to spawn. Not sure. Anyway, um, we've got to deal with them. Uh, they've only got 16,000 men versus our illustrious 44,000 men. Jesus, we actually have 44,000 men. Oh my god, plus we have the 18,000 stack that I forgot about last episode that we can just spawn as and when we want. Because of course we vassalized that, uh, that holy order, the sacred band. That's so good. Alright, um... Let's talk about your annexation. What do we want to do? Probably a great conquest of, um, not great holy one. No, I want to do a, a great con- Sorry? Oh shit, are we now too powerful? Oh, don't say that. No. 16,000 men. They're, okay, right. How about now though? Great conquest? Uh, great, no, I don't want to do a great holy war. I want to do, no. Okay, so we have no cast spell against them at all now, uh, which is really great, as you can imagine. Um, I can't believe we have no cast spell against the Eastern Roman Empire at all. That doesn't make any sense to me, but there we go. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we can't create conquest them anymore because our realm is too big. Um, partially my own fault there because we conquered, obviously, most of Africa. Who, who else are we at war with? Who's this fella? Uh, trip. Did I just put down troops and we were in the middle of fighting a war? Whoops. That was my mistake. Okay, um, well, look, they're in the middle of a rebellion as well. So they actually haven't got many men left. So I think we could probably win it just with these few troops here and our good friend uh, Trajan Sverker and... Rufinius, let's give it a go. Um, it doesn't matter too much because if we lose, we lose, and then we'll just bring in the Praetorian Guard and then we'll win. So that should be fine. Let's kill those troops there just in case they do end up somehow getting more men than you know what it looks like they've got right now at a glance. Sixteen percent war score. Sure, let's let, let's torch the place. My son, significantly biggest dick has died of poor health. What was wrong with you, biggest dick? Is age of forty-one? He just dropped down dead. Okay, understandable. Have a great day. Um, we captured someone in battle there. We captured someone in battle. Oh, shit. We captured, like, everybody in battle in the whole world. Well, that's incredible, because obviously that's going to mean, uh... We'll move to ransom off in the future. Apparently, it didn't count for much war score, though. You can fuck off, and you can fuck off. I'm not marrying off my daughters. Um, who's our heir now? Prince Caesar of the Western Roman Empire. The homosexual sympathy for Christendom. Sorry. Oh, for God's sake, the things I have to do for this empire, I can't even plot to kill him because we're not playing with any mods that actually allow you to plot against your own children, which doesn't make any sense. Um, there is historical precedent for that. Maybe not in terms of gameplay, uh, because that would be kind of overpowered if you can pick and choose your heir like that, but um, a little bit annoying. We had a granddaughter, my kinswoman, holy shit, so my great-granddaughter, Frontina Bigger Stickers, born to the Praetorian Prefect Vespasian of the Praetorian Guard and my own granddaughter, they're not so big as stickers. Um, you know what? Do whatever you want. My son, Prince Hand Me My Crucifix, has decided he wants to enlist in the Noble Scholar Palinte. Uh, Pal Palatine. Sure. Um, let him go. Head off. Be good. Be strong. Uh, come back better than you are right now, because you are pretty shit, and you look suspiciously Germanic as well. Alright, to you, son, and she's also absolutely insane. Um, I may, depending on what you guys think, I may just marry those characters together. Um, sorry, Immorsa's biggest dickers died of the flu. My god, all of our children are dying. I may just marry them together by, you know, the save game. Because it's kind of a cool story that she would give him immortality and then he would make her as, like, um, empress. I was I was struggling to find the word for um, em emperor but a lady. Turns out the word is empress. Uh, it, it does make sense that he would make her as empress. Won't marry is not a legitimate excuse game, I'm sorry. Seems like a bit of bullshit to me just to stop people stealing an immortal wife. But she's essentially an immortal wife anyway. Speak of the devil and she shall appear. I mean, she's our concubine and immortal. So what's the difference, really? Anyway, I might do that between episodes. I'm not sure. We'll wait. Well, I'll wait and see what you guys think of that. Country of... Wow, okay. Uh, everyone's converted to Hellenic still because we've done such a good job at actually making the faith powerful again that I feel like um, we've really got nothing to worry about in terms of religious issues now. Let's take a look. Yeah, look at that. Pretty much the entire center. You know what? A lot of the empire is now back to being Hellenic. The way it should be. Now, the real question is, how the hell are we supposed to get a foot in the door in the Eastern Roman Empire? 
So I just had a look through the comments on last episode to see what you guys have been saying there. And basically, there are two comments. It's A, get rid of the Byzantines, which is understandable, because let's call them what they are. They're the Byzantines, they're not Rome. And secondly, uh, don't forget to eat people. Now, unfortunately, we haven't got the cannibal trait anymore, but we can just shut the gates. Um, basically, whenever we want, because I think we are paranoid, right? Yep, let's shut the gates. Let's get the cannibal trait again, and let's go back to our um, face-eating ways, because I would like that. Lose the trait, lustful. God damn it. That was so essential to this empire. So what's keeping it together? Okay, 66% war score. We've got the entire war goal, yet we have still not won. Um, because of reasons unbeknownst to me. One of my vassals declared war for it, did they? Oh, uh, who's this man? Vero, uh, Kunk the Evil. Oh, okay, um, can you not take this land that I've, I've been here and, you know, actually tried to get before you, thanks? That'd be pretty nice. So, I'll try and get the cannibal trait. And obviously, like I said, we'll try and build this man up into a strong, attractive genius, which is absolutely something that we need to do more than anything else. Um, that's going to be a very, very long time ago. Honestly, we'll probably reform the whole of Rome. We'll probably retake all the old imperial borders before we actually manage to get those traits because it's very, very difficult to do. It's, it's a small chance for the event to fire. I think it'll be pretty fun. Um, it's also come to my attention that we have many uncultured swines in the chat who don't understand what or why I'm saying the highest wank in Rome. Um... Also, I, I just don't want to tell you either. Actually, you know what? I've changed my mind. I'm not telling you. Uh, if you don't know, then that's down to you, okay? But you've just proven that you don't belong in my new Hellenic Roman Empire. So, uh, that's the test and you failed. I'm sorry. Okay, well, that was definitely not worth that war. Thank you very much. Uh, let's put these troops down and give away some shit. Oh, those were event spawned? Well, it doesn't matter that much. I mean, I don't really need... Oh, they were probably retinues. That's probably my retinues I just disbanded. Well... I guess we can make some more. It's fine. We got 3,000 gold. You know what? I think we'll be okay. Uh, you can have the trait kind. Whatever. Um, I mean, I've got one dude threatening to rebel against me. Uh, sure. Go for it. Uh, was it actually just one dude? Oh, no. That was more than one dude. Aha. Uh -huh. He was just leader of the revolt, eh? Um, that's fine. Because, again, we can purge more uncouth, unholy vassals. Did my sacred band join? They joined against me. The Legio Hellenica joined against me. I've never felt so betrayed, right? Get the Praetorian Guard. Get the Legio, uh, the first Legion. Get the, where's the second Legion? Uh, and the third Legion. Get all the Legions. Merge them together. And raise our actual troops from the province so we don't have zero morale. Um, oh no, we've still got, there we go, that's better. Okay, uh, Trajan, um, Vespasian, and, um, Emelian. A, yeah, I think that's about right. Anyway, look, it doesn't matter. Um, Let's actually get to work and crush these goddamn fools who think they can once again rebel against their emperor. Has this worked for anyone before? No. I don't know why these guys think it'll happen now that we're at our strongest. You've got to give them credit for trying, though. Uh, Gal Galileo Galilei. Galileo Galilei from the court of the... Yep. Okay, I really could not care about that man. I don't know why you're telling me. Okay, let's let that war end, that battle end, and then we'll swoop in and take some free war score, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. 34%. Uh, we'll just kill these troops off as much as possible, mainly because they've annoyed me and I want to see them dead. Oh, I can't believe you guys would rebel against me as well. War Chief Anatolius. I thought we were friends, but nope, you've betrayed me. Um, you can have the trait rowdy, because I'm feeling generous. Good luck with that. Yeah, again, I couldn't care less about these randomers going off to try and forge their own realms. Not relevant to me, because they're not going to succeed. The Son of Heaven has died. I swear I turned off Chinese news. Um, I'm going to opt out from your newsletter now. Thank you, China, because you're really not that interesting. Okay, let's go and hit the capital, and uh, that should be the end of this war. Thank you, thank you. The gods have spoke for themselves, of course. We are blessed by Zeus, um, or, you know, Jupiter, or Apollo, or whichever one it is these days. The can't see if Fovea has converted to the Hellenic faith. Excellent. I'm, I can't believe we had such a large uprising. Especially considering I got rid of all my vassals, or all my treacherous vassals. Anyway, maybe that's why we had such a large uprising in hindsight. Wow, um, so we seized the capital, and that's still only 44% war score, eh? A little bit annoying. Oh, they have taken some provinces? Right, fair enough. Okay, let's go and, let's go and take those back, if you don't mind. Um, the strength is the play, because naturally it does. We're up to 37 learning now. By the time we die, if we ever die, I think we'll be able to get our learning pretty ridiculously high at this stage. Alright, um, let's just go and manually walk over there, because that way we can at least grab some battle war score along the way, kill off as many troops as possible. Where's the leader of this revolt? If we can find him, he's, oh, he's actually the one leading those troops siege in my provinces, is he? Right, well, he's going up on the cross, if we can find him. We've befriended a priest. Ha! Huh. What a strange ambition to have as emperor. What else have we got? Um, assemble a great council. Now, that I think we can do very, very easily just by inviting a great council to our court. Even if just temporarily. Um, Saxony, would you like to join me in defending Rome from an internal struggle? 
Of course. Yes, you will, because otherwise you'll be next on my chopping block, and you know that. Right, let's try and capture this dude in battle so we can end this war pretty quick without having to mess around. Because we, we can win this. There's no way they can win this, I should say. So, I mean, it's, it's just really an inconvenience at this point. 38%. 45%, really. Ugh. Um, where, where is their free war score? What have they sieged? They've sieged this one, which is pretty rude of them. Um, let's just raise what we can and see how it goes. Alright, let's get you boys. Um, you all go here. No, don't actually... You don't have to walk all the way through Spain. It's, it's okay. Right, you go there. Um, let's bring these troops here. And just go and have them seize down a province. Let's get you boys into here and seize down this duchy level title. And then we'll just have to sort of spread out and carpet siege a little bit. Because unfortunately this war is going to take absolutely ages otherwise. Oh, Jesus. Stop walking through the enemy troops. Christ. Unbelievable. I think these men would be better trained than this. Oh, they might actually win that one though. Nope, not a chance. There's 7,000 men there. We should probably crush those. With the uh, actual legions, right? You guys can, you guys can go. You're, you're dismissed. Um, where are my legions? Right, you guys head over here. Let's get some boats and go and crush those ones. Ah, <sighs> the things I do for this empire, honestly, unbelievable. Right, uh, no, I don't. Yeah, okay, those are the boats I wanted. I didn't want those two boats. I wanted these boys. Uh, you are not getting any marriage requests ever, so don't even ask. Right, welcome aboard. Next stop, um, killing these fuckers in Africa. Don't think they rise up against me like this. I gave them all this land. Pretty much everybody who's risen up against me were the ones that I landed. Oh, we probably shouldn't have boat bombed into that. I think we'll be okay, but I probably shouldn't have done that. Ooh, that was close. Okay, 56% war score. That's the majority of their troops dead, I assume. Let's counter-siege this. Uh, we'll head south. Beautiful new magnificent painting. And I couldn't really care less. What do you want? Um, I don't know who you are. Don't ever talk to me again. Let's actually take all these provinces back now. Good God. Well, that took friggin' ages. Okay, we're done. Welcome to my prison. Let's kill them all dead. Um, the just. Yeah, that seems appropriate. Right, let's put these boys down. Okay, who who actually caused this war then? Prisoners? Oh my god, we've got so many. Oh, we've got so many. Um, ruler? Yes. Okay, let's see. Agrippa, um, my friend, I remember giving you that land and you have betrayed me. So now you are nobody. You are just Agrippa. Um, who else have we got? This fella? Who the fuck is this guy? Uh, you can go. Ransom prisoner, get out. Right, get rid of him. There we go. Okay, who's next on my list? We've got, uh, he sounds suspiciously like somebody who we've landed. Oh, a Greek man. Well, that explains a lot. Give me that. Um, will he still remain our vassal if I revoke that province? I think he will, won't he? Let's just get rid of that. There you go. Now he's unlanded, so he should be a little less of a troublemaker there. He's just a, just a landed band. Um, plus we've taken Florence back, which is nice. A lot of you have been saying switch over from actually holding these provinces to, uh, well, holdings to provinces. I don't think it's really necessary. We already hold a shit ton of provinces anyway. Plus, we're already getting a ridiculous amount of tax because of the multipliers affecting every province directly there. Plus, we can hold it without the malices. Um, I need to see some numbers behind it before I'm convinced. Anyway, Anatolios, uh, you can go free now. Or can we just execute him? You know what? I've changed my mind. I kind of want you dead. Uh, we could just ransom him away, I suppose. Yeah, off you go. Whatever. Um, let him rot. We'll, we might even plot to have this man killed. I don't know why you hate me so much. What's wrong with you? Um, too many held touches. Demand to be a coward. Coward? Coward? You were the one who lost in battle, my friend. Alright, kill him dead. Um, who else we got? Oh, because I probably put myself in seclusion, didn't I? To try and, oh, to try and become a cannibal, I remember. It's not that special interest. I don't know why, but these, these menus don't save when I mark things as special interest. Um, oh shit, we can get we can get crown jewels and that link crystal battle opinion as well. Don't forget, remind me to do that in the comments. Okay, um, you, my friend, I'll be taking that one from you, and I'll probably also take this one too. Oh, I should have. You know, it's fine. Um, what province was that? Campania. Uh, you, you seem loyal. Nope, you are not. You seem... There's not a lot of people hate me. You know what? You can have it. Grant landed title. Uh, Campania. There we go. As long as you're Hellenic, I don't really care. And he likes this anyway because we were just giving him land there. Uh, who else we got? Anius. Uh, you can go free now because you are someone else's problem. Off you go. Fuck off. Uh, here's a gift. On, on your way out, here is a gift. But you are still somebody else's problem. This dude looks like he's probably not my vassal, so I'm going to ransom away. Again, that's not racist. That's just based on the fact that there probably weren't many uh, Kemetic reformed. Kemetic pagans? Really? Does it start reformed? Anyway, look, I'm pretty sure there are not many of them in the uh, Roman Empire at this stage, right? So we're making a decent amount of gold. Let me sort this out, and I'll update you if anything interesting happens. Please. Please just let me manage the realm, please. So apparently, whilst I was revoking titles and dishing things out, which I'm still in the middle of doing, by the way, uh, this fucker tried to assassinate me. Uh, Cecilia the Silent apparently came through a tunnel in the castle. It was some, some weird event. Anyway, I, I was, it's in the base game. Uh, she, she has chopped off my hand and I'm now severely injured, which is why we look like an absolute state. Um, cancer, one-handed, severely injured. 
Jesus. Are you going to be all right? I have to deal with this. I've revoked pretty much every uh, vassal title who was a traitor, every religious traitor as well. So that most of Africa... <coughs> oh, God. I'm allergic to heresy. Um, it turns out most of Africa was actually under one big duke, under one big ducal ruler. In fact, there's still so many more to go. My God. Um, so as long as they are a religious... Sorry? This will lower... Yeah, I don't give a shit, though. He's a... a... Why can't we revoke that? Um, right, we'll talk about this in a minute. What about what about this dude? Are we free to... No? Even though he's a heretic, we can't revoke his title. Understandable, have a great day. Uh, what about this man, though? Now, he's tribal. Now, I've also revoked all the tribal titles and given those out again, so all of this was tribal at one stage. Um, let's go ahead and take all these guys, then. Well, not because we're way over our domain limit. That's probably something to do with it, I'd imagine. Um, we will pass the Cessation of Violence Act. It will bring salvation to the realm. Um, I'm sure people have seen that a thousand times over, so I won't, I won't read the entire thing again. All right. How are we doing? Right. Now what we've got to do is just completely give all this shit out again, and then I think we're set to go. Well, that took just about forever. We're good. Okay. So the only guy I couldn't really do anything with was this uh, this dude who is of Sardinix. He's a merchant republic. Now, we can't apparently revoke his title, despite the fact that he was a traitor, part of the horrible traitorous traitors that attacked our realm. What's next? Well, I'd like to take out the Byzantines, but seeing as we've got so much cash kicking around, um, let's come out of hiding for a start, just because I think we actually have to have a plague before that's relevant. Anyway, we can search for a smith. What I'm going to do, we're going to find a goldsmith, because we've got way too much gold. Uh, sure, there you go. Have, have a new one. Whatever. What we're going to do is spend probably about 3,000 gold right now. That guy died, so that was kind of the ideal scenario here. Well, why didn't you like me, though? Um, too many how dodgy still? What the fuck? Oh, I can't win. Tunis, right. Um, That's titular? Yeah, titular title. Right, get rid of it. I don't care. All right. Uh, just, to, just to keep our vassals on side a little bit more. I don't want this guy to be a double duke because he doesn't deserve it. But the province of what? Go jam. I don't want this. We haven't even got anybody to give this to. Oh, because he was the traitor from all the way down here. And obviously he rebelled. So I just revoked his title because we have free revocation. Shit. Um, okay, well, anybody can have that. Here you go. Uh, my good friend. You are now also the Lord of Gojam, because I could not give less of a shit about that province. Alright, are we good now? What does everyone think of me? Let's check, hang on, rank, uh, opinion. And then we sort by, uh, there, see who hates me. What's wrong with you, you weird man? Uh, desires the Diocles of Dalmatia? What is that? Grand Line title, though. The Kingdom level title? Maybe I don't think you deserve it. That was my first title, you can get fucked. No, I don't want any vassal kings, that's a, a mess waiting to happen. Um, what about this guy? The, the Duke of Sicily really doesn't like me. Dishonorable, introduced insane law, green versus blues, envious, crazy cannibal. I think that's your opinion, my friend. I can't think you've ever proved that I've eaten anyone. Um, right, let's give him designated regent as well. Shut the fuck up. Let's give him uh, let's give him champion as well. You can be my champion. Let's give him another one. Here, just take all these titles until you start liking me. How about that? Uh, honorary title, you can also have... Ah, how about my champion as well? There we go. Plus 20 with him, just because we've absolutely inundated him with jobs in our court. Um... Boom. There we go. 35. And that's how you make vassals like you. We could also host a feast. Do we have that option? Um, no feasts. No feasts in Rome. I'm sorry. That doesn't happen anymore. We've banned it. Feasts are outlawed. Who else doesn't like me? Uh, the Praetorian Prefect of the Praetorian Guard doesn't like me. Why not? Uh, what have I done wrong? Coward. Revoke vassal titles. Minus 135. Oh, because he's Christian. Why is the Praetorian Guard a Christian man? I still don't understand why they're Christian, but there we go. Um, if we landed him, I assume he'd take on the culture, or when he died, that the, the successor would take on the culture of the province, right? So let's give him, uh, what, what is this one? Roman Hellenic. That sounds ideal for the Praetorian Guard. Okay, let's go ahead and find the Praetorian Guard then and give him that, because having the Praetorian Guard hate me is not ideal. Um, saying that, though, what the fuck is he going to do about it, realistically? He hasn't got any land, so what is he going to do? Join a rebellion against me? No. Um, let's ignore that one, then. Who else have we got that to deal with? Uh, Valerius, the comments of Egeo, Legio Italica. Again, that's just a, a regular title there that I don't really give too much of a shit about. It's actual landed dukes that I, I worry about. The Sardinia in particular. You can have some gold, my friend. Uh, here you go. Have an honorary title as well. I've got so many of these. You are going to love it, my friend. Uh, you may be my Magister Equiti Equ Equitium. Equitium Magister. And also my Hellanodikos. Right, uh, awesome. The Watcher for the Sacred Band betrayed me, so now he is unlanded. Again, we don't have to worry about him because he is unlanded and not relevant, really. Um, you can have some gold because I'm feeling nice. It's only, you know, a tiny little bit of gold, so I don't really care too much. And that, as they say, 
is that. Now, this guy's tribal. Oh, but he can only be tribal. So, you know what? We'll let, we'll let him stay for now. Right. The realm should be sturdy. It should be safe. We've got three dukes that hate us, all of which are on land. And then the rest are just like, this dude? Oh, no. The, the mayor of Florence doesn't like us. Who cares? What's he going to do? Attack us with his 400 men? I don't think so, pal. All right. Duchies. Oh, we got the Duchy of Tunis we can remake, which absolutely not. We've got the Empire of Africa, which I'll definitely make. Because that's just going to give us a shit ton of prestige. Boom. Um... Imperium Carthage. I like that. Uh, you know what? It's time. Carthage is now our primary title. No, obviously, I'm not going to make Carthage our primary title. Please, I have some sensibilities. Okay. We're now the Western Roman Empire again. Is there going to be an event that's like, oh, you can't have both empires like in CK2+, Plus, or are we safe? Safe. Okay. Nothing displays authority like fine jewelry. So this is going to cost 2,000 gold because it's 3.5 times your yearly income. And our yearly income being the Roman Emperor is quite high. Um, specifically, it's 1,260 gold. So it's 3.5 times that. Capped at 2,000 gold, though. So we're only going to pay 2,000. Or is it 2,500? Either way, it's, it's one or the other. Then after that, you have to pay an additional 1,000 gold for better materials. If we're lucky and get the event. That's how you get the tier 4 um, artifacts, smith artifacts. So we'll see if that works. Well, it displays authority like fine jewellery. Once you see the undisputable might of House Biggest Dickus, I do have an indisputable might. Um, spare no expense and all the most expensive crown jewels money can buy for 2,000 gold. Oof, owie, my treasury. Um, she deserves greatness. Go on and get it. I don't know who you are, so evidently you don't. Betrothed can marry. Who is this? Okay, people I don't care about once again. Um, I need a wife. Because we do not have a wife. Uh, can we find an immortal wife so I don't have to keep marrying? Is that is that even possible? Um, find all. Reset. Uh, immortal. Um, literally the only other person is he doing. Should I just go ahead and marry her? Should we just marry her? Let's just marry her. It's perfect in every way. You're doing the youthful, the insane, lunatic mystic, and Imperator Julius Augustus, this hideous, hideous man. I don't think I really need to say anything for him. What a perfect combo. The dream team. Now we don't have to worry about getting married ever again. All right, Princess Victoria, uh, you can be trained in probably... Why did I immediately go to the one thing that she would have been shit at? Um, who is this person? My son? My God, he's old. Um, you can have the learning education, because I really don't care. That seems the most appropriate. Isn't all education learning? Thank you for watching. No. Um, advisors. Who do we want? Uh, basically, anybody who hates me, but not enough to... Um, for, for it to be completely pointless. So, like, Victor is a good one. Chancellor. Um, let's see. 21 is probably worth it. Especially seeing as these guys can't really do shit. So, we'll take him. Um, Justinian. Ba basically, people who don't like us that want to see it on the council that are also pretty good at what I want them to do. Justinian, you know what? You're allowed. So, my master. Uh, Neopotanius. Our son and heir. I think. Um, or we could have... Yeah, you know what? He's fine. Whatever. Uh, we'll send him a gift as well to keep him on side a little bit because he doesn't really like us. Court chaplain. Um, Nerva, priest of Rome. You are not very good at all. We really don't have any good chaplains in the empire, do we? Okay, fair enough. Are there any laws worth passing at this point in time? Uh, no. Is the answer to that? Absolutely not. Thank you for asking. Uh, we could abolish council power. Ooh. Uh, that sounds pretty good. Okay. I'm in. Let's pay for this jewels, and then let's see with the money if we've got enough uh, that, that's left over to bribe our council and see if we can't get that passed. Prince Leo, welcome. Uh, you'll be trained in thrift. Uh, oh, Jesus, I can't believe we've got so many damn kids. Can we just become celibate already? Is that is that not a thing we can do? Can we just become a eunuch so that we can't have kids anymore? Because this is honestly just too much to manage. I don't. I, we don't need kids. We're immortal. What do we need kids for? Okay, he's going to help some kid become stronger. I couldn't really care less about that. Come on, ask me if I want to get some special... Materials. You know you want to do it. Don't fail me here. Yeah, I couldn't... I don't care about her. Um, what are all these modifiers? No murderer? Vicious rumors? My god. Ab abandon the commoners. We're really not doing well, are we? I feel like I need to get rid of some of those. I think I'm taking the theology focus, but it's really done nothing for us at all. I'll have to buy a new one. There is no pleasing this child. Um, unless they've obviously changed it from the base game to have a lot of these more religious-based events... Uh, being fired by theology focus rather than, you know, in the base game where you go into seclusion and lose some of your negative traits, which I would prefer, but I guess they don't have anymore. Um, Zeus, time to become Hellenic. Oh, the way that, no, his name's not Zeus. He is, uh, Serbellion, Her Hellenic heresy. Let's, let's go ahead and fix that. There we go. Um, a month ago, you bought some baklava from a traveling baklava merchant. Today, you wish to share some of your baklava with a visiting dignitary. But to your horror, you realize that the baklava has spoiled. Fortunately, it's too late. The dignitary eats a few of the delicacies and begins puking afterwards. I'm so sorry. I'll buy fresher baklava next time. What a weird event. What a... W we got it. Good news, my Imperator Aurelius said excitedly. The gospel has informed me that the precious metals and gemstones have been located in a nearby province. If we send an expedition, we can increase the quality of the crown jewels. 
My god. Okay. It's kind of rare that you get that. Um, so I'm very, very glad we got it on the first time there. Now, obviously, we've got to do it again for the weapons and again for the armor. If we fuck that up, that's 2,000 gold to go just to basically roll the dice at it. So it's a little bit risky. Um, you deserve greatness. Go and get it. I don't know that you do, though. Uh, now, you can learn on your own. You'll manage, I'm sure. You can learn on your own. You'll manage, I'm sure. Give me my jewels. Where are they? I was overcome by excitement and curiosity when all us informed me that the crown jewels were completed. Uh, a crown and an axe? Why an axe? That doesn't seem very Roman. Um, I was kind of hoping for a scepter or something. Tribal vassal opinion plus seven. Really? Oh, because I suppose we're pagan. Right. Well, that doesn't seem right at all, but okay, fair enough. Uh, Monthly prestige 0 0.7. Feudal vassal plus four. City vassal plus three. Tribal vassal plus um, that as well. Feudal vassal, city vassal, tribal vassal. Not too bad. That's basically plus ten to everybody, um, which is fine. Except for feudal vassals which and city vassals. Okay, so actually it's only plus ten to tribal vassals, plus eight to feudal. And plus seven to city. I don't give a shit about city, city vassals anyway. But it's a nice little bonus there for um, a massive cost. That was actually a ridiculous cost. Was that worth it? Probably not. Should we visit China? That's something we've not done this entire campaign. I don't know why. Because I love visiting China. Let's request a Chinese artifact. Thank you. The Northern Way Arm Protector. That is XP plus ten, my friends. So you know what that means. Idun. My chambers, six o'clock, please. Uh, truly a magnificent item. Yeah, I agree. Oh, let's go kowtow. Hey, why don't you try and send him something first? Take this very ugly man. Um, I'm sure he will do many things for you. Kowtow before the emperor. Send an artifact. Uh, history on temples. No, thank you. Dislikes wealth. Uh, well, that's good for you, my friend, because I just wasted all mine on uh, trinkets, basically. Let's go. Um, we're going to go and bow before the Emperor of China as the Emperor of uh, the Western Roman Empire. This seems a bit odd, but let's do it anyway. What is this option? Um, recruit court physician. Oh, shit. He was my court physician. Whoops. Okay. Um, here you go. Welcome aboard. He's much better anyway. 21. Holy shit. I'll dish out some honorary titles while we're on our way to China, and then everything will be set. Our company has finally reached the central lands of the Northern Way Empire. The Middle Kingdom and all of its magnificence lay before us. Let's type it walk to forget about the reason of this journey. So, basically, we've got, um... A shit ton of gold in reserve, and I'm keeping that in reserve for a reason, mainly because when you're in China, you get approached by merchants, you get approached by, um, when, you, when you're touring with the Emperor, you can offer to buy some artifacts when you're on your way around. So there is a potential for us to come away with some things here, which would be quite nice. The priest started the ceremony right as I get inside the Tower's Temple. Do we want to join in on the ceremony, lose a trait zealous, 30% chance of getting in contempt, but it'll also reflect wellness in the eyes of the Emperor. Do not loudly criticize their poor religion, or their false religion, or study the symbolism. I'm going to try and get the highest level of Kowtow because we are immortal. So that I think will be the most beneficial for us. So let's do that. When we became content, did we? Um, not not even in the least. We just lost the trait Zealous. Okay, fair enough. Um, this does strengthen the play. We are now up to 39 learning. My son. What happened to him? He's home with consumption. Oh, shit. Um, oh, no, wait. He's not. He's left the Scully Pan... Pal yeah, whatever. Your son has apparently found himself a Greek wife and decided to remain in Constantinople and build a life there. Goodbye, my friend. Um, although he is a Nicene Christian, so I can give less of a shit about him, to be honest with you. Um, hand me my crucifix. It was nice knowing you. Biggest dicker, still in prison. What's happening with him right now? This kid's been in prison forever. Um, what's the point? What have they got here? Ruby Scepter, Golden Sword, Champion? I'll take these things. These seem fun. Um, I've been a loyal patron to my patron for some time. Thank you. Shout out to all the patrons. It's time to find a new spiritual guide. Uh, do we want to do that? Who is our patron? Uh, time's changed and so do I. My faith has served me well. No, my faith has served me well. I, I don't know what our patron saint is right now. Um, could be Nestor, I suppose. That does sound about right. Um, dedicated to Jupiter, giving us diplomacy. Right, I see. No, that is definitely what we want. We do need a bit of diplomacy in our life. Gain 800 gold. Jesus, where did you find that? I went on a walk in a beautiful park in the Middle Kingdom when I spot a group of people intensely focused. How do you play this game? Uh, might reflect well on us in the eyes of the Emperor, or we can try and get impatient or humble. You know what? I'm going to take, again, the Emperor's opinion is the most important thing to me right now. No child tells me what to do. Beat him dead. Kill this child. Um, what is this? Sorry? A man comes to your residence asking you to stay the night. His, fain his face is kindly, but he wears the tattered, ragged clothes of a vagrant. As a follower of the gods, it is your duty to show Xenia or hospitality. He could be a hoodlum or assassin. Um, we must show Xenia. Let him in. I agree. In a dream, the king of gods, Jupiter, appears before you. He sits on the throne, smiling. As you supplicate before him, he says, You are wise to show hospitality to me. You know Zeni, immortal. You realize that the beggar accepted into your abode was Jupiter in disguise. Wow, look at that. 250 piety. We gain uh, prestige, piety, 
And obviously diplomacy as well. That's really, really good. What gods aren't we blessed by? Hang on. Blessed by Jupiter. Um, we're blessed by Pluto. We are blessed by... Uh, em we're emulating Nestor, apparently. Um, blessed by Mercury. Blessed by Minerva. How many more gods are there left? We're going to be the most blessed emperor of all time. The emperor has kept his eyes on you, the chief minister says. You may enter the throne room but sh and show your subordination, but be quick about it. That's a little bit annoying. Hastily perform the kowtow. We got level two. Um, which isn't ideal, but honestly, it could have been much, much worse, seeing as we are a possessed lunatic, drunkard, slothful, cancer-filled, uh, one-handed. This man. Just this guy. What else can we do now? We can search for another smith, and actually, we've got the gold to do it, so absolutely, let's try and find ourselves the finest armor around. Why can't we make a weapon? Um, we don't have a forged weapon. We just have the Zuj crossbow, which I don't think counts. Okay, well, let's try and make the armor, then, in that case. Well, that was expensive and a waste of time. So we paid the 2,000 gold, got ourselves in a shit ton of debt because I decided to build some aqueducts because that's what the Romans did for us. I was struck with nervous excitement when Master Lucianus announced that the set of armor was ready, but unfortunately, it's just boring old tier 3 armor. It can be my... I don't think I ever have a warden. We'll go for a warden. Um, what does that look like? Oh, it's red. How nice. Well, I can't believe we didn't actually grab any of the Byzantine Empire. I don't really know how we're going to do it, but we've dealt with a lot of RAM issues. We went to China, so that was fun. Um... I will look into the best method of doing this, and I'll see what I can come up with. We might be able to get a claim on something. We might be able to trigger the Holy Wars if we're clever about it and grab um, Jerusalem or something like that. It might be the best plan. Then we could just create Holy War for, for basically the whole thing. Good idea, Brain. Let's do that. Thank you for watching. Next episode, we take Jerusalem. Shout out to my top tier patrons at the ridiculous levels. We have Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Halting, Hey Dog, Croesus, Gabriel Vanders, Josh Lundin, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, James Ogilvy, Escape, and Jackson Woodman. Thank you for your ridiculous levels of ridiculous support. And on the more sensible Patreon tiers, we have many, many people, including some of the following Nathaniel Limburg, Brandon Mintonier, Necrophilin, Felix Deal, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noblesse, Quit Lutchley, Zar Even, Fukuno Vasquez, Pole Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Chief Palpatine, I'm the Lizard King, Llewellyn Thomas, Yoran DeVries, Euphrates, Duncan 227, Jordan Campbell, Astro, and Sidini. Along with everybody else, thank you very much for your support as well. Let me know what you think of the series. Leave some suggestions for how I'm going to dismantle the Eastern Roman Empire, which are an eyesore and, of course, false and fake and making me kind of sad. See you next time.